Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review and swatches of the Color Drain Coffee Shop Collection. This is the newest collection released by Color Drain. I think it was released last week. So I ordered on a Friday and shipping was okay. I got it at the, by the next week. I ordered on Saturday or Sunday. Then I got it on a Friday. So this is what the package looks like. And it has five shades in there. And then at the back, it has like a coffee shop espresso machine, which I think is really cute. And then it has the names back here and the ingredients. Um, so we have cappuccino, latte, pink cafe, frappe, and mocha. So this is what they look like on the inside. I'm very excited to try this one out. So um, the lighter shades, I feel like I might have something similar. If I do, I will post it on the gram or maybe at the end of the video because I have to look for it. And then the other thing that I picked up, oh, this was $75, y'all, but I used a 10% coupon code and I got the two things that I ordered for $75, I'm not sure, or $80-some dollars plus tax and shipping. Um, so the second thing that I picked up is the Color Drain Cherry Blossom Lip Gloss, okay? Now, I haven't swatched any of these, so I'm going to, right now I'm wearing Kylie's Court K, so I'm going to take this off. I'm gonna swatch it and we're gonna talk about it at the end of the video. Sounds like a plan? See y'all soon. This is Cherry Blossom Lip Gloss. I love this gloss. I love it. It, it was everything that I thought it would be. However, <laughs> it looks like I just sucked somebody's blood. So that's the only thing to lip glosses that they're gonna bleed all over. And I use, look at that. I look like a vampire, love it. Reminds me of Sucky on True Blood and Bill Compton. So, all jokes aside, love the pigmentation. I use two layers to get, even one layer is fine. One layer is okay, but you know I'm extra, so I needed to project. So I use two layers, and that's why you can see all these in my teeth. Um, I felt like I swallowed a lot of red lipsticks, so I might see blood in my urine at this point. <laughs> TMI, look at that. So it bleeds everywhere, obviously. So what I'm gonna suggest is, if you have it, you know that one trick when you have lipstick on and then you stick your finger in your mouth like this, and then you know everything that's on the inside comes on your finger? That's what I'm gonna have to recommend for you guys to do. However, it's a very, very pigmented color. It has a fragrance to it, like kind of like, like a light lip lacquer smell. I remember smelling this from one of my mom's Lipsticks. I can't put a finger on what it smells like, but it's not bad at all. It's like a nice candy, muted candy smell. So this is a must-have. If you don't have a red lip gloss, this is a good one. This one with a white, white, white beater, some jeans, and a, some heels in the summertime, you are ready to go. However, you can't be kissing nobody because it's going to be transferring everywhere. But y'all already know this about lip glosses. So let me get this off and I will swatch the coffee shop collection and I'll see y'all in a second.
welcome back y'all the sun played me played me in this video can you see the shadow in the back ridiculous so i hope this video you guys were able to see the colors this color that i'm wearing is uh what is it called cappuccino this is thebomb.com so from this collection you guys know i'm very lazy and i hate to make a lipstick work so this collection only three colors worked well for me uh, which is this color that I'm wearing right now, cappuccino, um, latte, I believe, the really pinky nude color, and mocha, which was the first brown color that I used. I really, really like this color, you guys. It's like a, you know, rosy, orange, coral color. Love it. Um, the other colors, the other two colors that were really, really pale and kind of patchy, um, those were frappe and pink cafe. Those were really, really light, as you can see. So with a lip liner, you know, you're able to work it or use it as an ombre in some colors. And again, you guys know that I'm just not a nudie person, and if I have to work something with a lip liner, I don't I don't have time. I, like, I really don't know how to do it. But I really like this color. This is one of my favorite colors. So these three are my favorites. Their names are Cappuccino, latte and mocha and this is cappuccino and the lip liner that i've been using was mac chestnuts so the only thing that i noticed from their new bottles is that this um collection is a little bit shorter than their normal sized one can you see that so that was the first thing that i noticed so it's like a little bit shorter um there's a color from their old collection that i pulled out truffle rain I just wanted to see if it was close to mocha and this is truffled rain so this is the same size as the original like this is the OG OG color drain container and is it is the same size as the original so but this is the lip lacquer and I have other lip glosses or liquid lipsticks that come in this size and again it's just like an inch shorter I'm not sure I feel like it might have the same amount in there but I'll link all that in the description bar. So what I'm going to do right now is just show you guys if mocha is really close to truffle. Because that was the only thing that felt like I already had, oops, I already had my collection. Y'all, I'm in love with this color. This is cappuccino. Cappuccino is amazing. So now the sun is going down. So this is truffle rain and this is mocha. So let's see. I rarely wear truffle rain. But this is one of the first browns that I picked up. Um, you guys, I'm going to do a proper comparison on Instagram since the light is kind of playing me right now. So this is Mocha. So Mocha is darker. I was kind of worried because it looked like it would be close, but Truffle and Mocha. So I'm going to be comparing some of these shades to some of the shades that I already have from Color Drain. Like this um, Cappuccino color, I feel like I have a shade from them called Pebbles or something. So I'm going to swatch them on Instagram. But so overall, I would say that I like the colors in the collection, except for the two that I talked about, because you have to work with it. You need a lip liner. And the other shades, absolutely love. My favorite, I don't have a favorite, but those three that I mentioned out of this collection are well worth it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.